So how will this lab course work? Well, the guiding principles of this remote lab experience are flexibility and autonomy. The labs are designed to be done on your own and at your own pace. All of the information you need to complete the lab is within the lab itself. As such, you don't and shouldn't wait for your lab section before you begin work on the lab. We encourage you to begin work as soon as the lab becomes available. See the schedule below for those dates. Since all the content needed to complete the lab is within the lab itself, your lab TAs will not begin each lab session with additional instruction. This may be different from your prior lab experiences where the TA begins the session with an overview of the principles and procedures and stuff like that. Not here. Instead, the lab sections are basically dedicated Q&A periods, times where the 28 of you in a given lab section have exclusive access to a lab TA to get help with the lab activities from someone who's experienced with that particular lab. If you don't need help or can't make it, you do not have to attend your lab session. However, to ensure equitable access for all students to TA support, you also may not attend a different lab section. We basically don't want all 300 of you showing up at 1 p.m. on a Tuesday or whatever. The schedule of all the different lab sections with the TA contact information is in the table below. Another potential use of the lab sections is therefore to work with your peers. Presumably most of you have blocked out that time in your schedule and so it makes a decent time to meet with people. While the labs are designed to be doable individually, you are not only free to work with others, but in fact encouraged to do so. Science is a collaborative enterprise and sometimes a person idea to bounce ideas off of is exactly what you need. For lab, you are welcome to arrange your own small groups. However, if you're having trouble, your TA will help you arrange people to work with. Regardless, each person must turn in their own reports with their own data. Verbatim copying from another student or from CHEG or similar resources will be considered academic dishonesty, and the consequences for that are a zero on the lab. Given that the labs are meant to be self-directed and no prepared instruction will be given during the lab sessions, the open and due dates for each lab are the same regardless of the time your lab section meets and can be seen in the table below. To keep things consistent with the lecture portion of this course, everything will be open or be due at 10 a.m. We expect that two weeks and therefore everyone will get two Q&A sessions with your TA will be sufficient to complete each lab. However, we recognize that in these exceptional times, flexibility is critical. As such, you will actually have three weeks to complete each assignment. The third week will overlap with the start of the next lab, as you can see in the schedule. As an incentive, however, to keep you on pace, we're offering a small 3% bonus for completing the lab by the two week deadline. This bonus can send you all the way to 103% on a given lab, so it can send you over 100. The amount of this bonus, however, has been very carefully chosen. It's a little bit less than the value of any given question on the lab. Therefore, if faced with a choice, it's better to take that third week and, and figure out what's going on and instead of turning in the lab at the two week mark for the bonus. After this three week period, the labs will in general not be accepted except for in extraordinary circumstances. This is to respect the time of our graders. They simply can't handle a slew of labs all appearing at once at the end of the semester. 